Hello! If you do not know, I'm Elaine, and I'm a tour guide in the French Quarter in New Orleans. I have a lot of stories from my tours. Now, if you want to hear the ghost stories I tell on my tours, you're going to have to come down here and pay for it. But if you want to hear stories of weird things that happen while I am leading mostly drunk strangers through the French Quarter, I got you. Okay, so one of my favorite stories to tell is about a night that I had a bachelorette party as the majority of my tour. Now, these girls were drunk. They were not crazy drunk, but they were a little bit intoxicated. And there was one girl that was sort of the leader of the group, even though, no, she was not the bride. But she had been here before. And so in the breaks between stops, she was telling all of her own stories of other visits to New Orleans. Now, I didn't mind this in the least, because that means that when we're walking between one location and the next, I don't have to talk. It makes my life easier. But there was one point that we were walking between two stops relatively close together, and she started a story about the last time she'd been here. And it seems the last time she had been here, she had also been on a bachelorette party. And they had visited a lot of the gay bars along the Bourbon Street. And specifically, they were in one where there were a lot of male dancers dancing on the bars, as there tends to be. And one of the dancers just kept grabbing his own butt in this weird way. And so her and one of the other girls, like, kept paying him to come over because they were trying to figure out what he was doing. And at one point, they just straight up ask, why are you grabbing your butt that way? Now, keep in mind, at this point, we are walking down the sidewalk of New Orleans, and we have gotten to the next location where I plan on doing a stop. So I sort of wave for her to stop, and she spins on one foot to deliver her last line as dramatically as possible without realizing she's on the edge of the sidewalk. So she tips backwards into oncoming traffic while delivering the culminating line, which was anal leakage. Now, luckily one of her friends caught her and set her back upright because otherwise those would have been some of the worst last words of all time. <laughs> 